Hi, Samuel Prather here, founder of Go Music and Reason User since 2003. I wanted to take a second to just talk about a topic today which is really near and dear to my heart. I'm a professional musician and all the time we talk about what the pocket is. And I got a comment on one of my videos previously that was just asking me to go a little bit more in depth about what I mean when I say the pocket. So what I wanna do is explain that a little bit better for people that don't gig professionally and aren't around that jargon as much. It's really tricky to explain what the pocket is because it's kind of like the matrix, right? It's like, I can't explain the matrix to you, Neil. I can only show you. The pocket is kind of similar. If you haven't played in a group with other people and had a chance to feel what it feels like when the groove really locks in together, it's very hard to explain. But I will try to give you an explanation, especially one that you can use as a producer or one who's trying to program drums using music. So my take on what the pocket is, is a group of musical ideas that are played to the same pulse, that are slightly dissonant, but still complementary to each other. I know that's a mouthful, but hopefully it'll make sense in a second. I like to think about the pocket as being like a big triangle, right? Three people trying to keep a moving object in the center of a big triangle that they're creating. And as you play, that center piece is going to move and everybody has to kind of make small adjustments to keep it in the center. Any one person that makes a move in any direction is going to affect the way that the other two are going to have to move. So the more people involved in making a pocket together, the more complex and small and myopic everybody has to be about making sure that they do their part to keep that groove in the center. That is why when people that are good at playing the pocket get in the pocket, when it really feels solid and stable, they don't play a lot of other stuff because it feels so good to be there and they know how easy it is to knock it out of balance. Another way to think about it is that the pocket is about keeping time in a way that is not computer perfect, but it's as close to perfect as it can be in relationship to the other pieces. And because those other pieces are moving, it requires a lot of attention and, and movement on your part. Similar to the way that a good singer doesn't sound like auto-tune. A good singer sounds in pitch with themselves and in pitch with the other things that they're playing with. Good rhythm is the same way. It's not about keeping metronomic time. It's about keeping good time and a really good relationship with everything else that's happening on the stage. Now, I'm talking about this in terms of playing live, but this is all important stuff for you to know as a producer, because this is what we're trying to recreate when we program drums. This is the reason why you need organic elements being played, whether it's guitar or bass or keyboard, you need those organic elements to give that push and pull that gives the energy to a groove. That's why things that are all just programmed and quantized right on the beat sound flat. They don't sound alive. You need that breathing, that push and pull between the elements of your track to make it have life. If you're really still in the dark about whether or not you're in the pocket or not, um, being a straight black man, always for me, a good metric is whether or not sisters are dancing to what I'm doing. If you're playing harmonic stuff, that's cool. You might be, see people bob their head or they might listen intently, but when stuff is grooving, you see people move their bottom, right? It comes from the core, right? So that's something just to look out for. I know it's not a perfect metric, but it's definitely a very good place to start. Another important thing to remember is that because you work in reason, you have the ability to apply a different groove to every instrument or even different parts within one instrument as long as you separate it to different lanes. So what that means is you can use that function to help recreate the natural push and pull and the natural differences in the way that musicians feel time so that when you're playing something all yourself it can still have that vibe that a real band brings to a record. If you like the way that I explain this, please like and subscribe. We just hit 700 subscribers, so thank you to everybody that has subscribed so far. And I'm not joking when I say please leave ideas for future shows in the comments. I really wanna know what you think. What do you think the pocket means? 
What's the way that it was taught to you if you are a professional musician or even an amateur one? Leave that in the comments. Thanks for checking the show out. My name is Samuel Prather. Hopefully I gave you a reason to create.